It is a beautiful day. It's sunny outside. I'm about to go to class, get this knowledge. But before I do that, I wanted to ask you something. What's up with so many people being like anti-science or, or this distrustful of science? Like, I'm about to do a review about Cosmos, uh, hosted by Neil deGrasse Tyson, my new favorite show. And it kind of disturbs me that only 36% of the population really trust scientists you know almost damn near 60 percent of the population is like you know i don't know i, I don't have an opinion of them <laughs> well that's that's what they say about scientists i mean it's like you do realize that just about everything that that allows us to live our lives in in convenience and you know relative ease compared to the past is because of science. I'm not just talking about recent recent breakthroughs or anything. I'm talking about you know, electricity. You know, the the uh first law of thermodynamics. You know, energy can't be created or destroyed, it can just be transferred. Somebody figured that out a long time ago. Okay, so this stuff, hold on, let me turn my screen off. This stuff, you know, definitely comes in handy. And I don't know. I mean, you can talk about things like cars and trains and transportation and, and communication, like cell phones and things like that. But, you know, some people may say, well, that's, that's mostly technology. Well, science and technology go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. You need technology to strength and scientific research and you need science to make technology you know this is why people call it science and technology you know but anyway um on the cosmos enough about that leave your you know, comment in the comment section if you want to you know tell what your your point of view about you know where that is right now but on the cosmos It's it's very rare that like a TV show just captures my attention to the point where you know my DVR is set. Like I really don't have outside of like like sports related stuff. I really don't have thing anything like seriously recorded on my DVR because a lot of stuff is just you don't really care to to retain that that information that you got from that hour when you watch that program. You know it's just mindless mindless fun, but cosmos I, I don't want to I, I hate saying the word is educational because that makes it seem a little dry but it, it I think it's 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 mandatory viewing for a lot of people it, it really is because because a lot of people just don't really know what's 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 out there in the in the universe like for instance my, my channel is called the chill gaming nebula like the reason I chose the reason why I said nebula is because of, you know, my interest in, in science and space. And it's like, you know, for those that don't know, a nebula is basically interstellar, an interstellar, an interstellar cloud of dust and gas, like hydrogen and, and, you know, helium and stuff like that. And it's like, they can be the, you know, sort of like the, the universal uh, womb, so to speak. For, for stars and even planets you know so scientists think that's you know that's how some you know new stars and, and new planets are formed you know out of nebulas very beautiful pictures by the way you should got you guys should just look them up and um like people have known about nebulas for almost a thousand years now um one of the nebulas i want to say was the the cat eye nebula I'm not not really sure it was discovered by you know Arabic and Chinese scientists back in like 1054 so you know this stuff you, you can't just have a you know science is science is going to a place now where you have to kind of start taking a lot of different things into into context um, with regards to to you know where we are as a as a society, like if you were 
if you were to look at the size of Earth, okay, and compare it to the size of Jupiter, which you know you can fit like multiple Earths in Jupiter. Well, Jupiter is small compared to other size objects, like, like planetary objects and, and, and stars. You know, like there's a there's a particular class of star known as Tartarus or something like that. You could fit so many Jupiters onto that thing, and you can fit like a whole bunch of Earths onto Jupiter. So how many like how small would Earth be compared to something that big? Like like it's it's it's, it's mind blowing. And and when you zoom out and and you zoom out and you look at you know the Milky Way and then you look at all of the other galaxies there are. You know, and then you understand that that's just the known space. Like that's what they call it, the known space. I mean, and there's stuff, there's light from from objects and stars that may not be, may not have even gotten to us yet. It's it's like it's crazy, man. Like when I and I say crazy, I don't mean that in a good way. So, cosmos, and it's it's only been they've only shit aired like four episodes so far. And it's, it's, it's so good that, you know, I have a Cosmos viewing, <laughs> viewing party viewing party now every Sunday. You know, this past Sunday, I got like four of the people to show up and we just kind of sat around and, you know, watched Cosmos and started talking about that. Neil deGrasse Tyson is a brilliant mind. You know, I respect people who can understand complex issues, complex topics on a detailed level that just goes over everybody's head like I'm trying to get that that I'm trying to get at that point right now so you know it, my and this past episode was was my favorite episode though so you guys should definitely check it out um I give it definitely probably a nine out of ten production quality like if you can watch it in HD that that's even better but the production quality you know, like the things they go into about um you know Robert Hook and, and the discovery of of the cells and you know they're telling me things that I didn't even know because I had heard about Hook before but I didn't I didn't know all of the details about his life you know what I'm saying and then they just went into this past episode they recently just went into um the guy who discovered black holes like it's it, it's um it's really damn it it's educational I'm just gonna say it it's it's educational that's what it is and that's not a bad thing you know so get that knowledge and elevate your mind and check me out later